Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA video, we are going to look more and more about cells. In our previous video, we have understood all about cell reference. We have created a macro named cell reference and using the VB code, we have understood the various methods through which we can refer a single cell or a range of cells in Microsoft Excel. Now in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on cells, but instead of referring to a cell or a range of cells, what we are going to do in this video is we are going to learn that how can we manipulate the values that is already present in a cell. So to manipulate the values, we are looking at the different methods. The first method is the previous one only that how can we add the contents to a cell to a blank cell. The second method is when a cell is not blank or is having any kind of value, then how can we edit that value uh, to uh, uh, extremely new content or we can just add something. Suppose hello is written in a cell, then we can write hello word. So how can we manipulate that thing? Then the third thing that we are going to see is uh, what is uh, the method through which we can copy the value of one cell to any other cell. How can we paste that copied value into some other cell? Then how uh, can we cut the value from a particular cell and paste it to any other cell? Now this thing we are going to look firstly at a single cell and then we are going to see that how the same expressions or same operations could be performed on a range of cells. So this is all what we are going to see in today's video and let's start with our discussion. So from the previous video only we have this macro called cell reference which uh, has no code right now but I'm going to uh, begin writing the code. So first of all what I'm going to do is just add some content in a particular cell. The cell I'm using is B3 and in B3 I'm going to change its value or I'm going to write some content like programming knowledge then uh, this is our first step that is how can you provide a value to a blank cell if you can just play it so yes value is provided to this blank cell now uh, this was a string value how can we provide a numerical value so say b4 we got to provide a numerical value 50 that's our numerical value okay now then we have the second thing that is how can we change the value suppose b3 is value is programming knowledge but we want to change it to something else so how can we do that simply we want to replace its value so you got to just provide the name this whole syntax you got to repeat like this So its value would be changed for this. We got to use the F8 key for the step into function programming knowledge 50 YouTube channel. It's been changed like this. Okay. Now what is the other thing? It is when you want to change its value to something else. Suppose you want to manipulate its value. How can you do that? So let us write something in the cell B5 equals suppose I write hello so if I run this function uh, b5 has got hello in it now I decide that I do not want to write just hello but I want to change its value to say hello word how can I do that so that's like uh, concatenating the value so for concatenation what you got to do is provide the cell number dot value this is the same thing that you got to write why we are writing this because we are trying to change the value now we want to keep this hello as it is so this hello is right now stored in b5 dot value so here we got to write b5 dot value that is whatever is the value of b5 you got to write the same thing and then add some other things to it now what are these other things it is a space and word and then put the double quotes again now if i run this you can see hello word has been written 
so this is how you can manipulate the values if you want to have a clearer look at it let's start with a step into function so here you can see when this line is executed you get hello value in this but when this line begins its execution the next line hello is taken from this plus word is added if you just execute it it's hello word okay so this is how it works uh, this is how you can manipulate the value now how can we copy a value from a cell to other cell suppose hello word is the value of b5 and i want to copy it to g10 so how can i do that first of all you got to write b5 like this dot copy copy is a method so you got to just write copy then what you got to do is paste it in the uh, cell g10 okay so when you use this method uh, or property of copy this hello word is copied into the clipboard and then you got to provide the uh, target cell where you want to paste it for pasting you got to provide uh, with a value known as paste special when you do that whatever is copied in the clipboard right now would be pasted in this cell so if we just run this then you can see that in g10 hello word is pasted and this hello word is right now present in the clipboard as evident from this dancing arrows if you just go to the home tab and try to view the clipboard over here like this then you can see hello word is present in this clipboard okay uh, and these dancing arrows are present as well but what if you want to get rid of these dancing arrows so for that what you can do is use a simple thing write the word application and put a dot when you do that you get a list of options so you got to go to cut copy mode and put a tab now what is this cut copy mode this cut copy mode ensures that the dancing ends are visible or not that's a simple thing but actually it uh actually uh, works that whether these dancing arrows or these dancing ends should be visible or not as we uh, in the excel to get rid of the dancing ends we double click on anything or any cell so that uh, clipboard gets cleared and this cut copy mode is disabled so this is what we are going to do through coding so just set it to false like this and put an enter now what happens let's just uh, use this f8 right now step into function so that we can understand everything first it's hello then it's hello word then its value is copied then it's pasted and then as soon as this application uh, dot cut copy mode is set to false you got to press f8 and you can see that these dancing ends have been removed so that is how it works now this was about copy this was about a single cell what if you want to copy a range of cells and want to paste it suppose uh, first of all for that purpose we want to provide a range of data suppose from a5 till a10 uh, dot value we want to provide it with say hello then uh, we got to just run it first okay now what do we need to do is just paste it value paste this value in some other set of cells suppose from e7 to e12 okay e7 till e12 what do we need to do is provide it with a value dot value what is going to be its value the same value that was in a5 till a10 now let us just all remove this or um, like this for a cleaner code and when we run this okay dot value okay so if you just provide it with this syntax then this value is copied over here uh, and that was uh, the simple thing 
on how you can work with the cells the range of the cells now if you want to use the copy function how can you use it suppose a5 till a10 dot copy is what we do and then we got to paste it uh, we want to paste it say in b5 till b10 dot paste special like this okay now if we run it using f8 it's copied it's pasted ends up yes and that's how it works how you can copy the data from a single cell to any other cell how you can copy a data from a cell range to other cell range simply using the value function or the copy function and the paste special function so that is all from today's video i hope you all have enjoyed it Thanks for watching.